Welcome to 100 Days as a Magician. Say hello to my buddy, Jimmy. Hello. In this video, I have to survive 100 days against three of my friends who are literally going to do everything in their power to stop me from getting to day 100. And with only five hearts of HP right now, I'm in a lot of trouble. But luckily for me, I have my Magician Upgrade menu where I can buy more hearts by becoming a stronger magician, unlock new magic tricks to slow my friends down. Oh, and uh, I create balloon animals that explode. So that's kind of cool. But my first goal is simple. Get away from them at spawn. Now, I could just start running off my stage, but I'm not gonna lie, we've tried that three times already and I've died every time. So I need to try something new. So this time we're gonna unlock one of our magic tricks which is actually called the card shuriken. And to get it, all we have to do is complete these quests you see on screen, starting with getting a bell in a village because I'm guessing there's one somewhere in here. Okay, it's gonna be risky going into the village to start, but it's gonna be worthwhile. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Go this way, Get go this way, that go this magician! Way. Get him! Let's go around the far side of the village and just see what we can get. Oh, this is not good. They're over there behind me. Is there a bell in this village? That's what I need to look for. Where is there a bell? There's gotta be, oh, there's more down here. Good, 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 good. Okay, there's gotta be a bell down here, right? Get back here, magician! We're gonna need some logs. I think to break the bell, we're gonna need a pickaxe. So let's just go up here to this tree real quick. Go, go, go. Grab the tree, grab the tree, grab the tree. Cut down faster, little guy. There Where'd he go? go? He's right. at that tree. Oh, they see me, they see me, they see me. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, I see him. <laughs> Get back here, okay, magician. We got a bunch of logs. We got a bunch of logs. Let's go to the water now and quickly use that to craft. Oh, they're close. It's okay. This looks deep. Oh, it's very deep. There is a lot of glow squid. Okay, we're going to be quick about this. Ready? Dive, 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 dive. I don't see any magma down here, so we're going to have to go up for air for sure. Up. I was hoping there'd be magma down there, but there's not. That's okay. It's okay. Dive. I'm okay, quick. Turn all of our oak logs into oak planks. Make ourselves a crafting table. Now let's swim over here real quick to the edge. You can't run forever. Okay, quick. Put that down. Make some more sticks. Now make ourselves a wooden pickaxe. We're good. Swim. Make another crafting table later. Okay, now we just need to go back to that village and get a bell. Now, there's only two on me, so there's likely one still in the village. Well, we run over to this village. Let me tell you about this cool new mobile game, Arena Breakout. So thanks to Arena Breakout for sponsoring this video. Now look, I'm guessing there's at least a few of you out there that have never heard of or even played Arena Breakout before. And if that's the case, you'll want to keep listening because Arena Breakout is the new most popular mobile shooter of 2023 with over 80 million downloads. Arena Breakout is an immersive next-gen FPS and extraction shooter game better than even games like escape from tarkov and no i'm not kidding this is the most realistic fps game ever made for a mobile device like legit you can even battle in a typhoon now on top of the insane gameplay players can also customize their weapons in a ton of different ways using the advanced gunsmith system simply mix and match over 700 gun parts to create super unique weapons and then you can use these weapons to play the game your way want to play stealthy you can want to go out guns and blazing you can do that too play the way you want on. Your only goal is to get the loot and escape. Oh yeah, and with the new season comes a new map called Port. So you'll want to hop in soon and experience battles that have really never been possible in a mobile game before. Be a little bit careful because there's also a brand new boss in the game. And uh, if you die to it or really die at all at any point in a match, you're going to lose all the gear you have on you. So gear up, make a smart strategy, and you'll be a legend in Arena Breakout. In fact, I'd love to see some of you guys in the game. So come and join me in Arena Breakout by simply clicking the links in the description down below or scanning one of the QR codes you see on screen right now. So what are you waiting for? Come hop in the game soon before stuff like the Halloween event and the new limited game mode, Farm Storm Warning, go away. I'll see y'all in Arena Breakout very soon. Okay, now we should find that bell. Where's the bell? There's got to be a bell in this village, right? I see it. I see it. It's on the well. It's on the well. Cut him off, Goldie. Stop that, baby. Break it, break it, break it. Don't get... How? You kidding me? Don't get in my way while I'm breaking. Now they're coming at me. No. No, no, no. Yes, we got it. We got it. Oh! Magician! Run! Get over here. Okay, we're going to need to get a kill here. Because our next quest requires us to get a kill with a crit. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We need to play around the village for sure, though. Do we have any blocks, actually? Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. This is going to be huge. This is going to be huge. I have an idea. I have an idea. We're going to go next to this house and go. Hey, get jump back here. Roof. No, okay, we jump on the roof. I see you on the roof. Get down here. They're going to start coming up. They're going to start coming up. No. Oh, he got me. He got me. He got me. He's low. He's got to be low. That was fall damage, too. Oh, hey. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm on him. No, no, please. We're low. We're low. Please. 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 Yes. No. Oh, we got the crit. We got the crit. We got the crit. Kill this cow. We got to kill this cow quick. Die, cow. There we go. You, just you can't just kill my friend, oh, baby. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. I have an idea to actually quickly get some food. Let's go back into the village. Start breaking this stuff. Carrots. All of it. Nice. We got a carrot. Oh, yeah. we're going to take a punch. Yeah, we're going to take a punch. Right. Around the corner. Go back. Oh, my gosh. It scared okay, there me. There we go. Down here. Grab some more hay bales. Grab three. Oh, can't keep go. doing this. I can keep doing this. Okay, go this way. We're going to go back into the water. Dive. Eat. Okay, got a little more food in us. We just need to get some of this bread. Where'd my crafting table go? There it is. To the crafting table. We need to get air. We need to get air. Oh, there's no one even near us. We're good for a second. We're good for a second. Get this crafting table, turn the hay bales into wheat, and then take these, turn these into bread. And we got 18 bread. Let's go. This will have to last for now for food. This will last for now for food. Let's just get out of here. Oh, they're, they're coming us, baby. Off. oh they're coming off. They're coming off. They're coming <laughs> off. It's over for you. This way. This way. This way. Actually, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. I have a better idea. Go this way into the forest. I have a good idea to lose them here. Let's go this way. You'll never lose me, baby. 
Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. There's one below us. One below us. If we can kill him, I think we'll be good. We just need to get away. Start going along the trees. We can get him over here. We get get back here, baby magician. Yeah, he's in the trees. He's in the trees. Good, good, good. That's where we want him. Turn around. Here we go. No. Oh, he's low. No. Please. He's got to be low. He's got to be low. Yes. We got him. Eat some food. Eat some food. Eat some food. And then we're out of here. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Magician is out of here. Go. Okay, so we're super far away now, so we should be okay. Ow. But if we want to finish unlocking our first magic trick, the card shuriken, we still need to kill five rabbits. And since rabbits spawn in a bunch of places, this shouldn't be too hard. In fact, look at all these biomes that they spawn inside of. Deserts, snowy plains, frozen oceans, taigas, meadows. You name it, they spawn there. In fact, right over here, I think I see a floral forest, which is one of the places they spawn. Yeah, the biome we're in is a flower forest, so rabbits actually spawn here. Okay, so let's go into the forest and start looking for some rabbits. Let's also get some logs real quick so we can actually beat up the rabbits. Okay, cool. Now we have a wooden sword. So let's go find some bunnies. Oh, a rabbit. I see him. I see him. I see him. Oh, two of them. Come here. I need to kill five of you. Oh, oh. I missed again. I missed again. I can't hit the rabbits. Get over here, bub. Yes, we got him. One rabbit down, four to go. And there we go, all the rabbits are down. Which means now we can unlock our card shuriken, an ability that lets me throw out cards that are deadly. Kind of like Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter, if you know what that is. So if I go up to this cow right here and hit my hotkey, you're gonna see that I throw a bunch of cards at the cow. Hitting the cow and doing a bunch of damage. Also, sorry if I sound a little sick. Uh, I am very sick right now. Apologies in advance. But anyway, now we've unlocked our first magic trick, let's start working on our first magician base. Because we can see the sun is starting to set, so we need to get a base going ASAP. From days two to eight, I simply built my first magician base which would hopefully keep me safe from my friends as long as possible because if I die at any point before day 100, I automatically lose. Okay, so welcome to the first ever magician base. Now you're probably looking around like, uh, I don't see a base anywhere. And that's because the base is actually down in this giant cave right here. So if we head down here and uh, dodge all the mobs real quick. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. La, la, la. Oh, oh, hey. oh, we're in trouble. Okay, one more lap. One more lap. We got this. We got this. Okay, go here. Pop, pop. There we go. And we're in. And now the mobs can't follow. So welcome to the base. We got our furnaces, our chest, a lava generator, our bed, and of course, a little crafting table down there. Now, before we go and keep working on our magician upgrades to start getting new magic tricks and stuff, there's actually an item I forgot to show you. Because as a magician, I was supposed to spawn with my magician's hat. Uh, it just kind of broke, so I didn't get it. But this giant hat you see in my inventory is the core to being a magician. You'll actually see if I right click the hat that a bunch of different rabbits pop up from Rabbit Evolution 1 to Rabbit Evolution 5. And since I'm just a kid magician, I can only summon the Rabbit Evolution 1, which is this little rabbit that just jumped out of this hat right here. And while this rabbit might look innocent enough, this rabbit will try and kill you. So don't mess with him. Okay, but anyway, now that I showed you this rabbit, it's time to work on our last tier one ability called teleporting handkerchief. You know that magic trick magicians use with that big colorful handkerchief? Well, we're gonna try and unlock that now because if I unlock it, that magic trick will let me teleport anywhere I'm looking. And luckily to get it, all I need to do is get two red dye, eight books, and 16 ender pearls. And none of that's hard at all. Let's get to work. Okay, so first things first, let's go at our exit right here, which just leads back into the cave behind a waterfall. Now we just gotta walk over this way. There's so many mobs. Ow. Okay, so let's just get out of this cave real quick. That blew up my entrance. All the gates are gone. Okay, whatever. We'll deal with that later. And now let's just go collect some red dye so we can start working on that handkerchief. Now, red dye is super easy to get. We can get red dye just by grabbing some red flowers. I would say I found some red flowers. So let's just go grab those because that's super duper easy. Give me you, give me you. And now we turn both these poppies into red dye and we already have the first quest done. Now we just need either eight books or some ender pearls. Now look, we can craft a book by simply getting some paper and adding some leather to it. And since there's literally a cow right here, let's start killing him for his leather. Now I need eight books, which means we need eight leather. So I still need to get five more. Wait, do horses drop leather? Why? Am I, am I right on this? I might be wrong on this. We'll find out. They do drop leather. Oh, you know, that's good to know. I always forget that horses drop leather. But luckily there's more cows right here. So goodbye, cows. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's more than enough leather. Now we should go find some sugar cane for some paper, like that over there. And then we'll be able to craft all of these books. And all we need left is 16 ender pearls. Okay, there we go. We got 29 sugar cane. And since the sun's starting to set, let's quickly head on home and craft those books. So let's take all of our sugar cane and put it in a line to make a bunch of paper. Then we're going to take that paper and surround it with this leather to make ourselves all the books we need. And now we officially finish the second quest for teleporting handkerchief. So now if we just go to sleep, it's day 10 and we can finish up the teleporting handkerchief. So since all we need is ender pearls, there's really a few ways we can go about getting them. And the easiest way is definitely to go to the nether. So to do that, we're going to need to get ourselves a diamond pickaxe. So let's just go ahead real quick. Let's go deeper in the cave and quickly get ourselves some diamonds. Okay, here's one diamond, two diamonds. Oh, and three diamonds. Okay, now we can make a diamond pickaxe. So let's quickly throw that together in our crafting table. And now let's go get some obsidian. Now let's put this water bucket up here to quickly make a bunch of obsidian. Now let's get mining. 
Okay, we got 10 obsidian and nether portal. Now let's just go in and let's start getting ourselves some ender pearls. Now in total, we currently need 16 ender pearls to get the teleporting handkerchief. So we just need to find a warp fungus biome to start killing some of those endermen. Okay, I see warp fungus biome. We're almost there. We just need to get up there and there should be a bunch of endermen we can kill. Okay, we made it up. Now let's build the actual enderman trap. Take three cobblestone, put it like this, like this, and like this. An enderman can't fit under. But apparently neither can I because the rabbit on my head. So um, that's not gonna work. Okay, we're just gonna have to battle them the old fashioned way. But it really stinks because we only have five hearts of HP. So like two hits from these guys and I'm dead. Let's just be very careful here. Here we go. Let's get this one here. We got him, but no ender pearl. Okay, let's find another oh, one literally right here, actually. Oh, there's two right here. Let's start with this one. And we got ourselves an ender pearl. Okay, now let's get this guy over here. Five, which is not what I thought I needed, but I'm just dumb and I actually need 16 ender pearls. So, uh, Okay, we officially have all 16 ender pearls we need. Let's just make our way back to the nether portal and let's head on home. Okay, so obviously some great news. We can now unlock our teleporting handkerchief. Our brand new ability that looks like this. And you'll see when I throw it, it goes flying and I teleport wherever it lands. Now that didn't really go that far. Let me show you just how far this thing can go. If I shoot it like straight up in the air, that thing goes flying. And if we shoot it straight on, and if I rapidly click it, you'll see I can teleport in a bunch of directions at once. Making it impossible to track where I move. And with no cooldown, this is just honestly broken. So yeah, this ability is pretty cool. And we got it just in time because the sun is starting to set behind me. But now that we're done with that, it's time to work on our tier 2 upgrades. Since we've already gotten the tier 1 child magician, the tier 1 card shuriken, and the tier 1 teleporting handkerchief. It's now time to pick one of the tier 2s and unlock it starting tomorrow. So which of the tier 2 powers do I want to unlock? Well, if I become a magician's apprentice, I can actually get 10 total hearts of HP, doubling my hearts and making it much less risky if I die. And I'm not gonna lie, having more hearts would be pretty nice, so let's just unlock that. To get it, we just have to get a rabbit's foot, a bunch of golden ingot, and 10 melon seeds. And since we're near an area where a bunch of rabbits already spawn inside of the floral forest, let's head there and just go get a rabbit's foot real fast since they have a 10% chance to drop from rabbits. Hey, there's one rabbit right here. He's hiding under the tree though. There you are, get over here. Yeah, I got him, but uh, no rabbit's foot. <laughs> I think I got a rabbit's foot. Yes, we got a rabbit's foot. There we go, we got one. And that really didn't take too long. And it only took about half the day to do. So now we just need 16 gold ingots and a bunch of melon seeds. And back at home, we already have a bunch of unsmelted gold. So let's just smelt that up and that's gonna complete the second quest. So let's throw some of our gold in this furnace to start smelting. And then let's do the same with the other gold in the other furnaces. Okay, now that that's all smelting in the furnaces, even though I probably should have put that in the blast furnaces, we'll have enough gold to finish the second quest, meaning we just have to get 10 melon seeds. Okay, now let's grab all this gold. And as we can see, quest two is now complete. We just need to get those 10 melon seeds, which we can grab tomorrow. Now, there's an absolute bunch of places you can get melon seeds, from chests inside of woodland mansions, to even just breaking some melons out in a village. Which, that second option is what we're gonna do. Because melons spawn in jungle biomes, savanna villages, desert villages, and then woodland mansions. Obviously, we're just gonna look for either a desert village or savanna village. Or if we find a jungle, great, we'll just head there too. It's kind of whichever comes first. So let's just run around till we find one of those things. Okay, this village definitely isn't gonna have any melon seeds, but it will have extra hay bales since I'm starting to run a little bit low on food. So let's just grab that real quick first, then we'll go look for an occasion village or whatever it is that's gonna <gasps> hunter, hunter, hunter 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 hold up hold up i definitely just saw one of them yeah the doors open and everything look at this building let me get in this building let me get in this building i want one of them to come over here one of them's coming this way here we go go got her she's done oh i run into the position yeah, what guys, up he's attacking me. she's done we got her one down now start using our abilities watch this they're both gonna jump down then we'll teleport back up ready let's put down our rabbit actually put down our rabbit right here teleport back up Bonk. okay we'll leave the high ground now he put me in a straight jacket hold on fell Oh god, I gotta take these words. Enchantment. Oh god, I have slowness till I type all these words that appeared on screen. They put me in a straight jacket, so I have slowness. This is not cool. Let's teleport again far away. Wizardry. Pocus dash pocus. Mystic. Okay, we're good. We're free. Teleport back up on that tree. We missed, we missed, we missed. It's okay. We'll throw it again. Over here. Hold on. Get, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, I threw it over. I threw it over. That's okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Shoot that over. It's gonna get put me right behind him. Goldie's back somehow. I can take her out. I can take her out. She they must have their base must be close to here. Oh, we're beating him. We're beating him. Go. I'm gonna kill him. Dude! I heard one more. He's up top. Come my way. Eat some food. This teleport is busted. Go back down. Oh, we're. This is so broken. I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna fight him. He put me in a straight jacket again, but that's okay. He's running. No! Oh, go to, go to, go to! Oh, no! Yes, we got him. All three of them are toast. And we're back in a straight jacket. Great. Luckily, they're all dead. So to get out of this straight jacket, I just have to type five magical words like wizard. There we go. We got it. We're free. And we need to get out of this village pretty quick because I know Goldie got back here insanely quick, which makes me think that their base has to be near here. So we're just gonna use our teleport and get out of here like ASAP. And now back to finding those melon seeds. Okay, I found a jungle up ahead because this is where I start getting some melons. There's a melon right here. Here's a couple melons right here, in fact. We got five melon slices, which is five melon seeds. Okay, that works. Isn't that exactly what we needed? It is. So let's just teleport out here real quick. 
And now let's say goodbye to our kid magician with only five hearts of HP and absolutely no bonuses. And hello to the magician's apprentice, who not only looks bigger and has 10 hearts of HP, but you'll also notice he has infinite speed one and infinite strength one. Now, instead of being super slow, I am much faster. But anyway, now that that's finally done with, I'm going home because I think we're like three or 4,000 blocks away from there. Okay, so with our new magician unlocked, it's time to unlock another magic trick. And we're actually going to be unlocking the most famous magic trick of all, the red balls with the cups. So you're going to see that it's called the red ball of booming, meaning my red balls explode. And to unlock it, all we have to do is tame four wolves, swim 50 blocks with dolphins grace, and kill four players with lava. So let's start by taming those wolves, which means we need a bunch of bones, which we can get in the nether. Okay, let's just teleport up there. And boom, we got some bones. That's exactly what we wanted. Perfect. Grab all these. Now if we take these and we turn them into bone... Wait, these turn into bone meal, not bone blocks. Okay, so I guess bone blocks are not what we need. I thought bone blocks could turn into bones, but I guess not. Just bone meal. So now we just gotta kill skeletons for bones. Okay, so instead of bone blocks, let's just go over here to our cave, and let's just fight all the skeletons we can find. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Not... Give me your bones. <laughs> okay, that's 20 total bones, which should be all we need to get four wolves. Now the fun part, finding four wolves. Okay, so wolves can be found in pretty much any forest, so this taiga actually has a chance to spawn them. Now, wolves only spawn in groups of four, and once in a while, you'll also get a baby wolf, but I'm really hoping that doesn't happen for us. I found some wolves right here. Let's be friends. Yes! Okay, we got one. One wolf tamed. Now let's go get the others. Two here. There we go. That's two. This is three. Okay, one more. We just gotta get the last wolf, who's literally right here. Yes, and four. Quest complete, and now we have all four wolves we need. Since there's still plenty of time left in the day, I'm gonna take this chance to also try and quickly get some dolphins grace, because it's really not too difficult to get, and we only have to swim 50 blocks with it. Okay, so we're gonna have to find a warm ocean if this is gonna work at all. If I look under the water, you can see that I'm definitely in a cold ocean right now. So there won't be any dolphins spawning here. So I'm just gonna keep going in this direction until I hopefully find a warm ocean. Okay, we're in a desert, and there's a pretty big body of water here. This could be a warm ocean. Deserts tend to be near warm oceans. Oh yeah, coral. We're definitely in a warm ocean. There's a ton of coral up there. Gotta be a dolphin somewhere. Oh, I see a dolphin. Come here. Give me dolphin's grace. No, don't swim away. I need dolphin's grace, please. Yes, we're starting to get dolphin's grace. Now we've swim. You can see our quest line going up. All those blocks are starting to go up. We just need to do this 50 blocks. And done. There we go. Quest complete. And there's only one more to go, which is killing four players with lava. But uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's way easier said than done. So uh, we're gonna go back to the base real quick, get a bunch of lava buckets, and then go to battle. Okay, let's start by taking our iron ingots. And let's make ourselves a bunch of buckets real quick. And now let's head out to the surface to go burn four of my friends in lava. Ooh. Oh, wait, what? There's a guy right next to me. Wait, what? Where did you even go? I was looking for your base. Where? What is happening? Where did you even come from? I'm gonna you know, go explore. Wait, oh, there's a magician. I don't even see a base. Oh, we got him. He's low. Yes, there we go. There's another one. There's another one. No, their base has got to be near here. Where is it? They're coming from this water. It's got to be in this water somewhere. Hold up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. Let's actually whack gold in once. Oh, once. Twice. And we gotta get our lava. We gotta get our lava. Ooh, we gotta teleport. Get ready. Eat some food. Jump in the water. Nice. Teleport over here. Their base must be down here. I found it. Where is it? Where is it? It's gotta be down here. We got some magma. Okay, swim up, swim up, swim up. I don't see it. I don't see it. Name above me. Name above me. I got it. I got it. Bet you it's in this paint. We gotta find the way. We gotta find the way. Yes, we're in. Oh, shield, 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 shield. Nice. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. That was dumb. That was dumb. No. Oh my gosh, dude. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm, I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. There we go. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. Oh, we're, we're in trouble. Down here. Down here. Down here. Red. One just died in lava trying to escape. Nice. That's good. We can get there. We can lava. There we go. Oh, we missed. We missed. We missed. We got him in two. We got him in double lava. Grab that one back. Grab that one back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I can't escape this. I can't escape this. Oh, it's pouring on him. He's done. Nice. That's two down in lava. Two down in lava. Grab that lava. Come on, grab it. Nice. We're safe. Oh, they're coming down. They're coming down. This way. This way. This way. Gotta eat some bread. Let's teleport past them. Ready? Five. No, go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Pour lava on them. Pour lava on them. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. We got a bolt. Bye bye. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're screwed. That's one dead. See if the other one dies. If we do, we can finish this quest. They're still burning in here. They're still burning in here. Get ready. Teleport. They're ready. Bonk. We got her in lava. She's done. She's done. Go in here. Yes, that's all of them done. Okay, quick. Outside. Teleport over here. Now we can unlock our new combat ability, which is the red balls of booming. We gotta try these things out. They're in our inventory somewhere. Here they are. Get across the river. Get across the river. Teleport. There we go. Let's see how these things work. We can right click and it puts these red balls on the ground. Then if I go over here, they should detonate if I right click it. So as he gets close. Okay, I get how these balls work. Let's go over here. Let's uh, let's actually teleport up this hill a little bit. There we go. And then if I right-click the ground three times, I can place these balls. And then if they come up towards me, I can explode them by clicking this thing again. They're coming up. Here they come. They're close. Boom. Holy went flying. She should be dead. What? She's low. Nice. She's gone. That's so OP. Let's see if we can get the others while we escape here. This is actually going to be really good for escaping, especially if we can get a pill. Let's actually trick them back uphill. They're downhill at the minute. No, they're both uphill. They're both uphill. We're not going to go up there. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's go over here to this little cave. This is going to be a great spot to get them. Oh, it's not working. It's not working. Okay, let's get let's get this one. Let's get this one. Ready? Pretend we're running. Pretend we're running. Turn around. Boom! Oh, he's in trouble. I crit him, dude. I saw where he was gonna be and I crit him. Get back here, bro! Oh my god! 
Oh, he's toast. Oh, but the other one got back here in time. We need to keep going. We need to keep going. Oh, that went down a cave. Oh, there. Okay, we're out. They're pushing me. They're pushing me. That's good. Boom. Boom. Goldie. She's done. One more to go. One more to go. We can get him. We can get him here. Let's throw our shurikens at him. Ready? We can get with the shurikens. Keep back up. Teleport. Got him again. Combo off it. He's done. Yes, let's go. Now we got to get out of here before the others come back. Quick, 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 quick. And we are out of here. Okay, so now that we've unlocked our red balls of booming, I'm not going to lie, we're really OP because these things are literally super strong. So now that we've unlocked those, there's actually only one more tier two magic trick to go, and that's called a sparkle bomb. Now, this is basically a fancy smoke bomb like you see magicians use, and this should help me to escape if I ever get myself in a super tight pinch. Now, to actually unlock these sparkle bombs, I just need to get a music disc, 16 magenta wool, and 16 spider eyes, which is easy. So we'll start with the easiest part first, which is heading down into the mines and killing some spiders for their eyes. Oh, here we go. Spiders are spawning. Spiders are spawning. Did my sword just break? Oh, God. Okay, that's not good. We lost our sword. No way. I caused one explosion and there was diamonds right there. You can't make that up. You literally cannot make that up. Boom. I have a diamond sword now. That couldn't have been more convenient. Now we can go back over here and let's start fighting these spiders. Okay, perfect. We have all 16 spider eyes we need. But hey, we have 17 spider eyes now, which means I can save one for a snack. So all we need to do now is get a bunch of magenta wool, which means getting a bunch of white wool and magenta dye. So if we simply take some shears to these sheep, they're going to drop us a bunch of white wool. Okay, I went a little overboard. We have 39 wool, and now we just need to grab some magenta dye, which we can get from a bunch of different things, by the way. I'm just gonna start trying some stuff, because if I'm right, I believe these lilacs will give us two magenta dye each. Though don't quote me on this. I could look really dumb here in a minute. Oh, that's a peony, but it gives me the wrong type of dye. That's pink, so uh, I appreciate it, but no. We need lilacs. I don't know what a lilac looks like, but this kind of looks like one, right? That's an allium. That should give me a magenta. Yeah, this one will. Okay, there we go. 17 allium, which means we have all the magenta dye we need. And we just take that, combine it with our wool to get a bunch of magenta wool. And now there's only one thing left to finish the Sparkle Bombs quest, and that's getting ourselves a music disc. Now, luckily, getting a music disc is actually super easy to do, as we can get them in a bunch of different areas. Now, the easiest place to get one is an ancient city, but I don't know where one is yet, so I'm gonna go with the easier solution, which is just to go to the abandoned mine... The abandoned mine shaft. Why did I say it like that? The abandoned mine shaft below my base. Oh, we found a spawner. This could have a music disc. This could definitely have a music disc. Hold up. Biters can't get out of the one high gap so that's good back to the music disc here but we got a golden apple and there we go boom we got cat okay perfect we have the music disc we need which means we can unlock sparkle bomb which uh let's get to a more open area and we can test them out okay so back down we go oh 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 shield 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 shield, shield. we're in trouble oh, oh he's here he's here, here. Oh, he's here. uh oh god teleport yes hey we got through we got through we got through oh god okay our base is under attack hold on put some bombs right here oh, i gotta get out of here i'm killing him no okay we blew up one we blew up one we gotta get out of here we gotta get out of here let's go this way. Ooh, god. Teleport this way, teleport this way, teleport this way! Bwonk. Nice, go, 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 go. Now we're gonna go up in this tunnel. Now let's summon our tier two rabbit. We need it, we need it. Defend me, rabbit, defend me! Oh wait, he's mining for ore. Okay, I can actually read it for what my rabbits do. I don't think they fight for me. Oh, we gotta teleport, we gotta teleport. Get up there, get up there, get up there. I'm just gonna abandon the base. I'm gonna ditch the base. I can't risk dying. I'm just gonna lose all the loot at the base. It's kind of like a big setback. I don't really have any other choice right now. Okay, so thank goodness for our teleporting handkerchief magic trick. Because if we didn't have that, I don't think we would have been able to escape there. But we did, so that's really all that matters. Now we just have to accept our loss of the base and build a new one far away. Okay, welcome your faces to the brand new magician base. Now, as you could obviously see, I built this base at spawn, and my thought process is pretty simple. Why would the hunters check out spawn for my base? So I hope this works, but now let me just jump down here and actually show you the base. So if we climb down these ladders, we've reached the magician room where we have these nice curtains all around, all of our smelters, our lava generators, our cave, our enchanter, our nether portal, our chests, you name it, we have everything we need to survive and keep on getting our upgrades to get stronger. But we are far from done because there is still something I haven't told you guys about, or at least not correctly anyway. You know how I have my magic hat where I can summon all my different rabbits? Well, I thought the rabbits just got stronger with each upgrade, but I'm totally wrong. My first rabbit right here, Rabbit Evolution 1, is actually going to go ahead and hop around and give me a ton of food items after about a minute. See, he gave me some carrots. Oh, he's giving me a lot of carrots. Keep going. Is that it? That's all I get. Well, we got some free food. And as you can see, he then hops in the hat and disappears. And now if we activate our magic hat again, I'll show you what the level two rabbit does. Because the level two rabbit is even cooler. But uh, before we use him, let's go down to the cave because this rabbit actually will mine for us. So if we take this rabbit hat and put it right here and spawn our level two rabbit this time, you're going to see that he's automatically going to go and mine all the closest doors within 25 blocks. So like that iron right there. And then when he's done mining all of the ores nearby, they will automatically pop into my inventory. So we'll just let this guy mine for a sec. He's going deep. He's on a journey. There's our bunny. And now he should give me all his ores he got, which was, uh... No, no, no. Ooh, okay, we're good. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. He got me three stacks of diamonds. Oh my god. That's so broken. I can't wait to use the other upgraded rabbits later, but uh, we got to start working on getting the rest of our magician upgrades now. So uh, let's go back up to the base and let's select the magic trick to start working on. Okay, so the next magic trick we're going to work to unlock has got to be the linking lightning ring. Now you've probably seen this magic trick before as well. It's the one with the two giant metal rings that somehow connect midair. And all we did was give them the ability to also shoot lightning. Now to unlock those rings, all we have to do is damage all three hunters at the same time with our exploding red ball. Then we just have to get the zombie doctor advancement and escape the hunter's straight jacket underwater. And we'll officially have our new magic trick unlocked. Now the easiest one of these has got to be zombie doctor. So it said, let's go find an igloo because those are the easiest places to start getting zombie doctor. I believe if I go this way, I'll run into an ice biome so we can get this advancement done with. I thought finding an igloo would be kind of easy. And well, it actually was. I, I found a single igloo really fast, but it didn't have the secret underground area where I can get the zombie doctor advancement. So I spent the next few additional days just trying to find another igloo. Oh, an igloo. But it, look, it's built into the side of this like mountain here. Does this have the hidden thing underneath? No, it does. It's under this one. Oh, I thought it was under the middle. Oh, it does have it. Okay, let's just break. Okay, so here's where we can get Zombie Doctor inside below an igloo. If we look at the chest, we have a bunch of apples and golden apples. And if we look in this, we should have a potion of weakness, which we do. Now, to cure this guy, I believe we gotta break this bar, throw the potion of weakness at him, and then feed him a golden apple. So here we go. Throw him that. Now feed him the golden apple. And now you can see he's starting to shiver like he's cold. And if we simply wait here for a few seconds, he'll turn into a normal villager. Oh, I heard it. I heard the noise. And there he is. We got Zombie Doctor. And now that we're done with that, yeah, I gotta go battle my friends. Okay, their base is literally right here. I don't see nameplates. Base seems intact. All the chests are empty. Oh, this base is abandoned. They left. Yeah, they literally left. They're gone. So I guess that means we gotta go look for their new base, which is gonna be a pain, but let's get looking. Oh, look at all these torches. Wait, there's so many torches on this mountain. I think I just saw one of them next to that golem. Okay, let's just teleport over. Actually, wait, can I just go in this cave here? Let's try this. Yeah, their nether portal's right here. Put our bombs down right here. Let's leave them out here. Ready? Watch, 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 watch. Oh, there's a magician here. Now we should lead him down here. Okay, around the corner, around the corner, around the corner. Boom. Oh, we only got two of them. We only got two of them. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Teleport in this way. I put down one here, one in the back, and then one close to me. Ready? Go down here. Oh, they're there. They're there. Boom. Everyone charge him at once. Get him. Oh, there's balls here. Run. Oh, we killed them all. Oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Down here, down here, down here. That's one of the quests complete. The other quest we need is to be in water while in a straight jacket and escape. So let's go down to the water and pretend we're injured so they're going to chase us, hopefully. Now we're going to try and bow them. Keep missing, keep missing. Yeah, he's yes, he got me in the straight jacket. Okay, this is tough though. I have slowness here. That shouldn't affect me in water, luckily. Uh, oh, we need to move. So we need to kill them first. That's first things first. Okay, ready? Oh, I can't do any of my stuff. If I'm in the straight jacket, I can't use my abilities. Okay, so we need to be quick about this. Ready? Let's take the first one. Magician. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, that just counted as the quest, even though we did not escape. Oh, I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. It doesn't count. Okay, we don't need to be in water anymore. Let's just teleport away real quick and type the rest of these. Okay, here we go. Sorcerer, wizard, trick, enchantment. Okay. Oh, we, we broke free. We broke free. Now let's go ahead and let's unlock our new combat upgrade, which is the linking lightning rings. Now, here's how they work. I need to hit two players with these lightning rings. They'll attract together, and then they'll get smited. Okay, yep, there's, there's one right in front of me. We got him, we got one, we got one, we got one. Now, we need to get him near another player, and we need to link them both up. There's one coming up this way. Coming up this way. Ready? Boom, and they got smited and linked together. So now I can whack them, and they're both dead. Oh my gosh! What is going on? What? I can't! Boom! The other one lived. Okay, there we go. One more to go. Okay, now let's go get Goldie. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, down here, down here. If we throw a sparkle bomb at her, she should go blind. Ready? Oh, oh, bombs out here. I can't see. She can't see. She can't see. Yes, and she's done. Now let's get out of here before the others come back quick. I think we need to escape with our teleport. Oh, we're gone. We are gone. See you later. Okay, so with our new lightning rings unlocked, we can literally smite players together and make them stuck to each other, which is kind of cool. But with that done, it's now time to unlock our next magic trick, which is our card shield. Basically, I surround myself with a bunch of cards that are going to protect me from incoming damage. And unlocking them is actually super easy. All we need to do is get one lightning rod, 16 blocks of bamboo, and two potions of regeneration. So uh, I haven't seen bamboo yet, so let's start by looking for a bamboo forest, which I'd assume our best bet is to head back to the jungle we found earlier and look in that area. So that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, I kind of lost the jungle I was looking for. So I had to go find a different one. Also, what is with all of the rare biomes I have to find this video? Anyways, after three days of looking, we finally found some bamboo. There we go. Bamboo. Lots of bamboo. Perfect. Grab all this. Oh, 
Okay, that should definitely be enough bamboo. Now let's just go break a log to make sure. Let's make ourselves a crafting table. Now if we take all of our bamboo and stick it into this crafting table, we should get a bunch of bamboo blocks just like this. And if we look at the upgrade, we have all the bamboo blocks we need, which means now we just need to go get a lightning rod and some potions of regeneration. And I'm not gonna lie, getting a lightning rod is really easy. We'll just go home and make that. Because literally a lightning rod is just three copper ingots. But what is hard is getting the regeneration potion. So we'll go home, make the lightning rod, and then go get the regen. Now we go over here to the crafting table. We spit this in and boop, we got the lightning rod. Now we just need to go to the nether and now work on the regen potion. Now making a regen potion is also kind of easy because as you see, we just have to add a gas tier to a bunch of awkward potions. Anyway, so we just have to head to another fortress real quick to get the supplies we need. Oh, wait, we can go down here. Got it. Boom. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Teleport down there. Yeah, there, there we go. Now we're in. Oh, here we go. Another one's literally right here. Grab all these. Grab all these. Okay, now we just gotta go find a blaze spawner and take out a blaze. Oh, here we go. Here's a big open area. Oh, yeah, there's a blaze spawner literally right there. And a blaze right there. Excuse me. Watch what happens. Bonk. Teleported. You're dead. And we got one blaze rod. Now let's just go take out his blaze friends and get a couple more. Oh, I can shield that. Whatever. And three blaze rods. Now we can go ahead and actually get back out of here. And now we just have to go and get some gas tears in the nether. Oh, there's two of them up here. Let's go. Three of them up here. Let's go. Yeah, got him. And gas tier acquired. Okay, now let's go get those other two real quick. Oh, I got you. We're done. There we go. We got him. Come on. Yes, hit a gas tier. Oh, yes. We're good. Three gas tiers. Uh, we only needed one, but I got extra just to be safe. So now let's just go on home and let's make ourselves some regen potions. Okay, let's take our cobblestone, combine it with our three blaze rods to get three brewing stands. Now let's just go ahead and take some of our glass here and make ourselves some glass bottles. And then let's go down to our cave real quick and grab some of this water. And then we throw these glass bottles right into a brewing stand. Okay, so now we just take this, turn this into powder, throw that inside of our brewing stand. So now we should add another wart into this. And that's going to take these water bottles and turn them into awkward potions. And now we simply remove the nether warts and add in one of our gas tiers. And that's going to make the regen potion. And there we go, three potions of regeneration. And with those in our hand, we now have everything we need to unlock the card shield, our newest ability that does this. You can see I have four giant cards that now surround my body that protect me from all incoming damage so long as they're active. Okay, so now that we have the card shield that we can activate, there's only one more tier three upgrade to go, and that's Adult Magician. Now to unlock him, all we need to do is get one Totem of Undying, 16 Ink Sacks, and one Recovery Compass. Now let's start with the easiest part of that, which is getting 16 Ink Sacks. Okay, perfect. There's literally some squids right up here. Is that a dolphin? I didn't even know that was possible, but I'll take it, because now we have Dolphin's Grace, which makes make squid way easier. And there we go, 16 Ink Sacks, which is the easy quest done. And now we just have to go to the two hard ones, which is getting a Totem of Undying and a Recovery Compass. So let's start by getting that Recovery Compass, which requires us to get these blue Echo Shards that we can only get in an Ancient City. So that's where we're going. We're going to find an Ancient City as soon as we can and get ourselves that Recovery Compass. So for the next couple days, I simply checked around for an Ancient City and actually found one kind of quick. However, there was one little problem I ran into, and that's that the Hunters were inside of the Ancient City. That could be one. That could definitely be one. That is definitely one. Yes. Okay, we found an ancient city. A bunch of fall damage. Now. Let's uh, let's just teleport down. It'll be easier. Okay, now we're just gonna start looting some chests to get some recovery compasses. Okay, so there's one right here. Gotta be super careful. There's a shrieker in there. There is. Okay, so that's gonna activate no matter what I do. There's no real getting around this shrieker. As long as we get the recovery compass piece, I don't care. Give me an echo shard. No echo shards, really. We got some enchanted pants though. Okay, that's not good. Let's go back over this way. Okay, there's a chest right here. I don't see a shrieker, but I, there's probably one nearby that'll activate. Yep, there we go. Not what we need, but we got the best music disc other side. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Still no echo shards. Let's go around back this way real quick. Oh, ooh, hi. My friends are literally right there. They're in this ancient city with me. They're placing wool around. Hold up. I gotta be careful here. <gasps> Let's get a warden summoned on them. They're trying to be quiet. Watch this. Teleport over. Oh, they saw me. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, wait, there's a musician. Oh, okay. Come on. Summon them one. Is there no shriekers around here? There's one over here. There's one over here. There we go. We set it off. We set it off. One more. We got a warden summoned. One more for sure. Just start swinging. I can't see if they're coming up. Okay, they're not. Nice. We summon that one more time. That should get a warden in. There he is. There he is. Right. So if I shoot arrows over there, he should start going to their arrows. He's coming in. He should be aggroed on them, I think. Yeah, he is. He's not aggroed on me. Come on, warden. Kill them, not me. Oh, they shot me. They shot me. They're trying to send it back my way. He's low. He's low. He's low. He's definitely done. He's done. He's done. Got him. Got him. He's blown up. That warden's coming in, though. He wants me. Oh, no. He's going for someone else. Oh, yep. Yeah, there goes another one. There goes another one. Dude, the warden's on me. The warden's on me. He sees me. I'm dead. Dude! Let's open this chest. We gotta loot it quick. Echo shards. Yes, we got three. I see some chests back here. That's gonna set off that shrieker for sure. Three more echo shards. Totally worth it. And a mending thing. Go. Okay, we're super far from the warden now. Oh, there's Goldie. There's Goldie. There's Goldie. Let's get rid of her real quick. She's coming in. I got her. Watch this. Come down here. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Done. Bomb. Gone. Oh. Now we just need to go keep looting. We just need a few more echo shards. Specifically two more. Let's go check around this side. We haven't gone over here yet. Please just have one. Only one, really. There's a chest right in front of us. This will 
summon a warden as well. There's a streaker. It's worth it though. Check it. Two god apples. Okay, let's check up top there. Let's check on that tower. Come on, I just need one echo shard. Oh my god, yes, we got all the echo shards. Oh, we wasted up a streaker last second. No. Okay, just swim up. Just swim up. Just swim up. Don't even worry about the warden. Don't even worry about the warden. We got out of there. And we have all the echo shards we need to make a recovery compass. So uh, now let's just get out of here and go home. Okay, so now if we just combine this compass with all of our echo shards, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves the recovery compass. Which means there's only one more thing we need to become an adult magician now, which is a totem of undying. And there's only two ways to get that. Either I battle a bunch of mobs in a raid, or I find a woodland mansion. But I kind of want to get a bunch of extra totems as well, so the woodland mansion is probably our best bet. So let's gather a bunch of stuff we're gonna need to get a woodland mansion map from this village. And the first thing we need is sugarcane, which is obviously easy as found inside of a desert. So let's just grab all the sugarcane we can, so we have two full stacks. Okay, there we go. That's more than enough sugar cane. Now we just need a bunch of sand, which I uh, should be able to just get by doing this. And there we go. We got a stack of sand, which is all we need for that. And now we can head on home, put all our supplies together, and then we're off to a woodland mansion. Okay, so first things first, turn all of our sugar cane into paper. Then we just go over here to our furnace real quick and throw all of this sand in to start smelting. And now we wait for that. We just take four oak planks, throw two paper on top of it. We get ourselves a cartography table. Okay, let's take all the glass that's finished melting so far and go over here to this crafting table. We can turn all of this into glass panes and we're gonna get over two stacks of glass panes, which is all we need. Now we just need to go to the surface and head to the village nearby and put down this cartography table, break this, and this guy should want to be a cartography photographer he does not is there another villager coming in for this job oh he wants it he wants it he wants it. come on come get the job he's going the wrong way no you don't you are not becoming a farmer go become a oh wait there is one there's a cartographer right there come here cartographer now we trade him all of our paper for some extra emeralds then we're gonna wait for him to level up there we go. Now we trade him all of our glass panes for even more emeralds, where he levels up again. And now he should trade us a woodland explorer map. I just forgot to grab a compass. Hold on one sec. And then we can get a woodland explorer map, which we can then follow straight to the woodland mansion, which it looks to be to our southeast, just literally in this direction over here. So let's start teleporting that way until we get to this woodland mansion. It's generating. I just don't see this thing. It's somewhere over here. Am I just blind? They're like right in front of me and I'm just not. Oh, it is literally right in front of me. Okay, we found the ancient city. Now we just need to go in there and get some totems. Teleport up here. And now let's go see if we can find one of the totem boys. There's one right Right there. I definitely just saw one in the hallway. I don't see one in here, so this is actually a good room to enter. So let's enter this room here. Oh, we're getting magic. Here we go. One, two, three. He's dead. We got the totem. We got one totem. We got the one item we need. Now we're just gonna get any extra that we can hold on to in case we die. There we go. We got two totems. Woo! Got up, got up, got up. There's still one more on this floor, I'm pretty sure. Is it in here? Yeah, here he is. Here he is. I was wondering where I was getting aggro from. Oh, he almost got me. He almost got me. We're low, we're low, we're low, we're low. We got three totems of undying. That should definitely be enough. Let's just get out of here and go home before we risk dying, because we need to use all our god apples for that. And now we're home. We can become an adult magician who has literally double the amount of hearts with 20 total hearts. And additionally, I am much, much bigger. I have a wand in my hand. And most importantly, we have a new upgrade to our magician's hat, which is gonna let us summon the tier three rabbit. And this rabbit is a rabbit that will literally start fighting for us with a tiny sword and shield. Shield, and he will battle any player that tries to hurt me and he's actually super duper strong So uh, you do not want to mess with this rabbit, but because no one's attacking me right now He's just gonna kind of stand there Okay, so now that we've officially unlocked a new magician and a new rabbit from our hat We've officially moved on to the tier 4 magic tricks Which includes hunter in half an ability that's gonna let me cut the hunters literally in half Now you know I have to get that even though this is where unlocking ability starts to get tricky with how good our magicians been I don't think it's gonna be an issue now to actually unlock hunter in half There's a bunch of quests we got to do as you can see first things first we have to have one of our rabbits kill five players, which is exactly what we need our tier three rabbit to basically do. Then we just need to get the advancement. This boat has legs, which is riding on top of a strider. And finally, we ride on a horse with diamond horse armor and we'll officially be done with this quest where I can then apparently cut the hunters in half, whatever that means. But what I do know is you all know the hunter in half magic trick. You know that one where the magician literally saws someone in half inside of a box? Yeah, it's that one. And I'm gonna use it. So let's actually make our way back to the ancient city near our base real quick because diamond horse armor has a 16% chance to spawn in there. And I wasn't really looking for it before, so I don't know if there was any, but we're gonna go find out. Okay, let's just go loot some of these chests here that we haven't looted yet, and hopefully we just find some diamond horse armor. That'd be the easiest. What about you? No, I didn't loot this one, but it doesn't have the diamond horse armor we need. Nope, no diamond horse armor here. Oh, there we go. Diamond horse armor. We got some. Let's just get out of here, and let's make our way back over to... Oh, we... that's gonna summon a warden. That's gonna summon a warden for sure. Yeah, we just need to get out of here. We just need to get out of here. Okay, let's just run this way. I can't see anything, but I know the waterfall is this way. Yes, it is. I see it over there. I can't see anything, but we are out of here. Okay, now let's just grab a saddle from this chest right here, and let's go to the surface and find a horse. Now we just gotta ride a horse with horse armor. And this horse right here should do. Nope, the horse keeps kicking me off. Come on, be my friend. Yes, okay, cool. Now we can shift right click you and I can just add some diamond horse armor and a saddle. And then if I right click you now, we are riding a horse with diamond armor on and uh, he's actually super fast. This is a really fast horse. So I'm actually gonna bring him around back here and now let's just put some logs around him so he's a little blended in. And I don't think the hunters are gonna notice that. But we officially finished that first quest of riding on top of a diamond armored horse. So now we just gotta go to the nether to get a boat with legs. Actually, wait, we need that saddle back. Now to the nether. Now this requirement actually requires 
requires me to walk with the strider underneath me. Meaning I'm gonna need a warp fungus on a stick at some point to actually get this achievement. So we brought a fishing rod along. That way we could finish this up pretty quickly. Okay, here's a warp fungus. Now we just combine those two things inside of our crafting bench and we should get a warp fungus on a stick. Now we just gotta bring this saddle over to a strider. Okay, now we should be able to get a strider here for a second. We just need to make sure we hit this TP because I'll burn if I miss it. Not the move, not the move, not the move, not the move, not the move. Where do I go? Oh, we can teleport, teleport, teleport. Yes, okay, we're good. We're alive. And look, we got this guy right here. Oh, get away. Wait, why can I reach so far? Oh my god, my adult magician gets two extra blocks of reach? So I can hit things from so far away. Oh, we got a saddle on him. Go. Oh, we got him. And now we just have to walk around for like a thousand blocks. And we should get the advancement. This boat has legs. We did it. We just actually had to right-click the fungus and it started working. Achievement completed. Now let's just ride this guy back over this way towards our nether portal so we don't have to walk all the way around again. So we'll walk him to this edge, park him up, take our saddle back. Oh, wait, can I not take the saddle back? Hold on, there's gotta be a way to get that saddle back. Hold on a minute. Let me get some blocks for you. Maybe I can get you to walk up a block. Can you walk up that? Oh, you will. You will. Good. So now I put you up here, pop off and kill you, and you should drop my saddle for me. Now we get the saddle back. And now let's go back to our nether portal. And now we just need to get five kills with our rabbits that are inside of our hat. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to see what this bad boy can do. So let's go to the hunter base and let's show them the power of a rabbit okay their base is right here let's go through the side cave again so they don't see me coming in okay let's set up the hat let's put down our tier three bunny he should start fighting now if they attack us <sighs> i'm so big I, can't, I don't fit on this side let's go through the main wait what they leave the base wait what oh it's abandoned this is like hella abandoned oh yeah this place is abandoned and they left poor big john here alone goodbye big john how could this happen Okay, well, this base is definitely, uh, abandoned. So we gotta go look for their new base, wherever it might be, and then get five kills with our rabbit. It took a couple of days of searching, but I was able to find their base. And of course, they kept building it out of cherry blossoms, like every other base they've built this video. I found their base. I just saw the glowstone down there. But look, there's cherry trees. That's been like their thing all game. I'm like 99% sure this is their base. I don't see any names yet. But all we have to do is get five kills with our rabbit and then we're good to go. Well, uh, if you look at the quest, it's technically four now. That's because I learned if I summon the level three rabbit and it kills anything, it upgrades the quest. But uh, I feel like that's cheating. So I stopped doing it. And we're going to get the rest of the kills here against the players if they're even here. <gasps> I see a name. Can I land in that water? I don't <gasps> oh, we're landing in it now. Oh, that's all my health. Did they see... Oh, they see me. The magician, a guy is, here. Here. The magician is here. Teleport over there. Quick, go. Oh, okay. That was close. Okay, now we need our rabbit to get start getting kills. So we got to lead him up here. Start defending me, rabbit. Get him, rabbit. Oh, mess him up. Oh, he killed him. Oh, let's go. That's two kills. Oh, he's actually kind of strong, that rabbit. Okay, he just disappeared. Let's go this way. Let's climb their ladder, actually. Teleport over there. Oh, wait. There's one up here. Wait, what? Ah, what? He teleported behind me. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Watch this. Ready? Watch this. This is going to be crazy. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. He got away from that. No way. They're going to pop my totem at this rate. We need to be careful. Oh, he straight jacketed me. No shot. I can't even hit him now. Abra dash Hadabra. Okay, we did the first one. Sorcerer, wizard, wand, illusion. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Our hat's about to be undone. Our hat's about to be undone. Then we can use the rabbit again. Oh, he hit me in the water. He critted me. Two of them on me. There's two of them on me. We got to go this way. Summon the rabbit. Go. I killed one. I killed one. Get away! Down! Oh, no. The rabbit killed another one. Okay, the rabbit's going to disappear in a sec. Let's teleport out. Uh, we got to teleport. We got to teleport right there. Okay, we're good. Nice. Get up here. Oh, this, we're in trouble. Okay, one's coming up. One's coming up. We need to teleport up there. Okay, we teleported. We're good. Wait for that hat to refresh. Okay, now we're gonna go back down into the ravine with our teleporter. And in fact, let's uh, let's blow up their beds. Oh, I got found. Okay, let's go in here. Ready? Tier three rabbit. Go. That's two hits on him. He should be super low. Come on, get him. Yes, two. Get him. Come on, rabbit. Come on. Kill him. Yes. We got all the quests done. Let's go up here. And now we can unlock our brand new combat ability, Hunter in Half. Okay, here's my Hunter in Half ability. Let's see how this works exactly. Oh, there's one coming up now. Here we go. Ready? Let's Hunter in Half him. Oh, good. We got him in the table. Okay, he's going to get sawed in half now. Aha. <laughs> you thought you... Oh, what is this? I cut him in half. Look. Dude, he sawed oh, me in half. Oh, we got him. He's done. Let's saw him in half. There we go. We cut him in half. Look. He's now completely headless. And he's lost all his controls, so he can't do anything. Get over here, Goldie. You're next. Get sawed in half. And now you're dead. I'm not going to lie. That was so overpowered. I can literally cut them in half. But uh, now I'm going to get out of here because uh, I don't want to risk losing my totem already. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Hunter in half is the coolest ability ever. I mean, look, I get this cool table and anyone who sits in it gets sawed in half. Now that we can literally saw people in half, there's only two more tier four upgrades to go. And that's the crystal ball. And of course, the master of illusions. And you know, I got to work on this crystal ball because just look what it does. It's going to allow me to teleport all the hunters together in one spot, which may not sound OP, but imagine if I'm fighting one of them and I teleport all 
three of them onto some bombs and just blow them up. It's way stronger than people realize, which is why I have to get this crystal ball ASAP. All we need are 16 slime balls, 16 sea lanterns, and two end crystals. And to get sea lanterns, we're gonna have to head to an underwater monument, which normally would be pretty difficult, except for the fact that we already leveled up a cartographer over here who can literally trade us the map that we need. We just have to go grab our emeralds and a compass, and that map is ours. But there's one other thing we need as well, and that's actually getting Silk Touch on our pickaxe to gather the lanterns. Oh my god, did I just get that first try, really? So, uh, I guess now that we're done with that part, um, give me my emeralds, give me the compass, and now let's go trade with that villager. Okay, now we trade this guy for his ocean explorer map. Thank you very much. And now if we look at the map, we can see that, oh god, we have to go really far southeast, which, uh, just like last time, is in this direction. So, let's just start going this way until we run into this underwater monument. Okay, so the monument's apparently right up here. Uh, we just gotta dive in, and it should be right in front of us. Yep, there it is. I can see it, and I can see some lanterns, too. So, let's actually quickly just grab a boat so it's a little easier to navigate. And now let's go to the monument and go get those sea lanterns. Okay, the guardians are literally right up here, so we're gonna have to be pretty quick about this. Okay, let's go in. Let's just start grabbing some of these sea lanterns. One, two, 16 sea lanterns. We're good. We're done. Let's go. We got all the sea lanterns we needed. That was just way harder than I expected it to be. Now let's just head on home and get the last two items tomorrow. Okay, so that obviously went really good. And now we just have to go get slime balls, which we can get at night in the swamp. But like I said, we can only do that at night. So instead, we're going to go into our nether portal and get the other items we need, which is the end crystals. So let's start by killing this enderman here and hopefully he just gives me an ender pearl. Oh my god, we got it. We have two ender pearls. Well, there's the ender pearls we needed. Now let's just go to that fortress out there and get some blazes. <laughs> There we go, two blaze rods, which now if we turn one of them into blaze powder and combine that with our ender pearls, that's gonna get us two eyes of ender. And to finish the end crystal, we just need to get two gas tears and some glass. And since we have glass at home, we just need to get the gas tears. And uh, there's a gas right there. <laughs> okay, there we go, we now have two gas tears. Now we can go home, make our end crystals. And then as long as it's still nighttime, we can go get some slime balls. Okay, so we take our gas tears, our eyes of ender, and surround them in a bunch of glass. And that gets us our two end crystals that we need. And luckily for us, it still looks to be night outside, which means now we can go to a swamp biome and start killing some slimes for their slime balls. Okay, now we just gotta run around here and look for some slimes that spawn in and we'll just kill them. Okay, here's our first one. Right, give me some slime balls. Give me some slime balls. Okay, how many do we get? That's seven slime balls. Okay, oh, there's another slime over here. Oh, and a big guy up here. Well, there's all the slime balls we need. Okay, so officially, we can unlock the crystal ball. Our brand new ability that uh, sits in our hand like this and supposedly should teleport all of the hunters together. Okay, so you're gonna see I have this crystal ball in my hand and when I right click it, a menu pops up that shows all three of the hunters that are hunting me right now. And if I click one of them, like let's say this guy, they should all teleport straight to that player. Uh, I have no idea if that worked. I'm just gonna guess it did. Well, if it did something, I'm sure the editors will cut it in oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what Wait, Whoa. you guys still the the Yo, is there a magician yo, 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 yo. nearby? Okay, so anyway, now that we have the crystal ball, there's one more tier four upgrade to go, and that is to become the master of illusions, who also gets access to the tier four rabbit. And trust me, I want the tier four rabbit. Luckily, unlocking him is pretty straightforward. I just need four sponges, 16 echo shards, and 32 nether quartz. And since two of those things are honestly like stupid easy, let's start by going to the nether and getting that nether quartz. So luckily, there's some pretty much everywhere. I have silk touch, so I'm gonna have to smelt this, but that should be okay. Okay, there's all the nether quartz ore we need. Now let's throw our nether quartz inside of our blast furnace to start smelting. And while that's smelting, we need to go get some echo shards. Now, I actually already know where a few ancient cities are. So let's go to one of the ones we haven't looted yet to quickly grab those. Because if I'm being honest with you, echo shards are super easy to get. Okay, the ancient city should just be just up here. Let's just teleport down. Now let's just go grab those echo shards. And let's try not to summon a warden this time. Okay, we got one echo shard. Oh, let's go. We got five echo shards in that one. Oh, we got a bunch more in here. There's a bunch of echo shards. That may have just summoned a warden. Oh, we are barely good. And we just got a mending book and a fortune three book. I still need seven more, so let's just keep looking around. Okay, we got a few more in here. No, we're still too short. Ooh, I just have that shrieker. Gosh darn it. Oh, that's the echo shards we need too. And now we just gotta get all the way over there if we want to escape. Teleport up there. Let's go, and we are out of here. And now it's time for the easiest upgrade, which is just going back to the water monument and grabbing four sponges. And since we know if we just keep heading southeast in this direction, we'll reach the water monument, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, all we need are four sponges. That's all we need to grab. Try right here. Yeah, we got it. We found sponges. We just needed four. Okay, we're good. We're good. We just need to get out of here now. Now, let's just grab our quartz back in our blast furnaces. And then we're going to go over to our regular furnaces and add all of our wet sponges into there instead. And then we can say goodbye to our adult magician. And now we can become the master of illusions. So, I am a little afraid I'm going to get too big for this base. So, I'm going to do this over by our ladder to be safe. Never mind. Our size didn't change at all. But look at our outfit. Oh, my God. We actually look like a professional magician now. Now, here's the thing. You're also going to notice we have 30 HP now, which is a lot more than before. But we're just starting to tie with my friends who have a total of 30. HP. So it's not that good yet. However, though, now that we've finished the Master of Illusions, there's only three more upgrades to go, which are all tier five upgrades that require stuff from the end, like the blasting balloon animals that take Elytra or the God of Magic that takes Dragon's Breath. But before we do any of that, we need to go to the nether and start getting some blaze rods.
Okay, there we go. That's eight blaze rods. Now we just have to go get ender pearls by trading at a bastion. Wait, what is this? Is this the hunter's nether portal? No way. They have respawn anchors in the nether. This is where they're respawning, I think. This is definitely where they're spawning. How do I get out of here now? How am I flying? Oh my god! I just realized the master of illusions can fly! And he has plus three blocks from each- Oh my goodness. I could have been flying this whole time. I've been walking through the nether. Oh, let's just go to a bastion and quickly get those ender pearls. Here, we got a bastion literally right here. It's a bridge, which is the best type, of course. I want to be careful because I don't want to let a bunch of these piglins die in the lava yet. So let's actually go and let's grab some blocks and let's try and trap a few of them. There we go. Now let's just go grab one gold block. Now let's just go over here. Take this gold block, turn it into gold ingots. There you go. Now he's trading. Push him in. He's in. Nice. We got our first one trapped. Now he'll start trading for some ender pearls. Well, we start getting the rest of the gold. Okay, not a ton of gold down here like I expected, but that's okay. Okay, check the chest. We got two gold blocks in there. We also have a netherite upgrade and we have two ancient debris and a netherite ingot and a diamond sword and a bunch of iron. Oh my goodness. Now let's just grab these gold blocks and be extra careful they don't go into the lava. Cool, we got everything we need in here. Now let's fly back up. Now let's go check in on our guy down here, see if we got any ender pearls yet. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, here, hold on. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. There, have some more gold. Okay, well, he does those trades. Now let's go around back around this bastion. And there should be a bunch of gold around back. Yep, there is. Now let's just start trapping more piglins and trading with him over with this guy. He's been uh, busy trading. Hey, hold on. Before you just start blasting me, take a bunch more gold. There you go. Get to work. Oh, hey, look, they're done. Okay, let's kill all you guys. Let's grab all the ender pearls down there. Thank you. Gimme, give gimme. Give let's see what we got. And we got ourselves a whopping 14 ender pearls, which is way less than I expected, to be honest. But it's gonna have to do. I guess there's another bastion over here we can go trade at, but uh, I, I just don't care enough. So let's just go back and battle the ender dragon. Or that's what I'd like to say, but actually, there's a few things we gotta do first. Because if we pay attention, the god of magic requires eight dragons' breath to be able to upgrade, which means we gotta bring some glass bottles to the end with us. So let's just store up all the excess that we don't need at the minute, and now let's gather all the supplies we need. So first things first, we're gonna grab a bunch of glass bottles, even if it's too many. Then we're just gonna combine up our blaze rods with our ender pearls to make ourselves a bunch of eye of ender. And now let's just grab our bow and 64 spectral arrows. And honestly, let's grab one of these netherite ingots real quick with a netherite upgrade. And let's craft ourselves a smithing table. And then if we combine the smithing table with the sword and the ingot, we should get a sharpness one netherite sword, which we did. And now we're ready to take on the dragon. That is once we find him. Uh, let's throw the eye and just see which direction we're going in. We're gonna have to be careful with our eyes. We don't want to use too many. There we go. We're going in this direction. So let's fly about a thousand blocks this way and let's throw our next one. Okay, let's throw the next one. Oh, it went backwards. It's somewhere in between the first and second throw. Okay, let's just go to the coast over here and just see if it's in the ocean or not. <gasps> it's not. It's not. It's literally right here. Please don't break. It's right below this hill then. Uh, you know what? Well, let's just go below this nether portal. We got it. We're in. Nice. Oh, and we are too tall to navigate it. We're going to have to break our way through this, aren't we? Another door. This could be a dead end. No, it's not. It's the portal. It's literally right in front of us. And now we barely have enough. Put all these eyes in. And now it's time to battle the dragon. And we're in. Oh, perfect. And since we can fly, this should be really easy to do. We should be able to do this really fast. Ready? Watch. One. All those crystals are gone. Now we just got to kill them. This should be super easy to do with our netherite sword in flight. Wait, before we kill the dragon, we need to get the dragon's breath. Let's grab our bottles real quick, and let's actually grab all the dragon's breath we're gonna need. Oh, is that already fading? That is. Oh, there's some right here, actually. How much do we need? We got 12? Oh, all we need was eight. We're done already. We can kill the dragon now. Let's get our red cups of booming, and let's put three bombs next to his head when he lands. There we go, and bonk! Oh, that did a ton. Oh, we got him comboed. He's done. Now we should drop all his XP, and we can get the dragon egg, which is nice. We'll right-click that dragon egg. Let's grab all this XP first. Now let's just grab a torch. Let's go, fellas. No, 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 let's do it. <gasps> hunters, 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 hunters. It's worth it. It's worth it. Just break it. Yes, we got the egg. We got the egg. We got the egg. Oh, they almost just stole that egg from me. Okay, we need to get an ender pearl. We need to go to the outer end. Okay, they're trying to shoot me right now. Let's see if we can just link two of them together and smite them real fast. We got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. Okay, let's get a ring on this guy real quick. There we go. I smited them. They're now stuck together. That should slow them down a bit. Now let's just get an ender pearl. Nice, we got one. Now while they're distracted, let's go over here to the outer end. Let's throw our thing through. And we're in. We're in the outer end. Nice. Now the thing is, we can fly and they can't. So hold on. They might try and come through and follow me. I got a brilliant idea. Watch this as they come through. I'm going to bomb them with the sparkle bomb so they can't see. Okay, they should be coming through any minute and then we can get them. All right, go for it. Go for it. Ooh, where is he? Where is he? Right. Oh, he's on me. Oh, literally as I said it. Boom. He should be dead. What was that, a carrot? That carrot just exploded. Okay, it looks like they have some sort of carrot launcher. Put down the thing. Dude, no, I'm, tra I'm trapped. Oh, Bell, Illusion, Abra, Kadabra. I got one of them trapped in the table, luckily. Okay, we're flying again. Okay, let's get this guy out. Let's saw him out, ready? Oh, he's dying. Nice, we saw him in half. He has no controls. He's gonna die. Nice, we blew one up, we blew one up. The other one's still scrambled, so let's just kill him off. He's dead. Nice, one more to go, one more to go. What is that? No! He's dead. There we go. Let's go. I can't move. I'm trying to run. Now we need to start looking for some elytra. After a couple days of searching around the end, we found an elytra ship that contained the rest of the items that we needed. Yes, there we go. Finally, one with an elytra ship. Let's break in right here. Now let's grab the elytra. Now if we go up top, there should be a dragon head right here we can grab. Yes, there is. 
And now I think we're done in the end. So let's just fly on back to the portal and head on home. Okay, so first things first. There's literally only a few more items we need to finish up our tier five upgrades. So let's go ahead and list everything we need to finish up this video. We need to get a trident, kill five mushrooms, get a turtle shell, and get a netherite sword. We also need to saw three players in half and get the withering heights advancement. That means we need to summon a wither. So we're going into the nether to start killing some wither skeletons for their skulls. Okay, cool. That is all three wither skeleton skulls that we need. Now, just quickly grab some soul sand over here. And now we can summon a wither. But I don't just want to summon this wither in some random place. I need to summon this wither at my friend's base. And here's why. Because I need to use this saw table on three players. They're definitely going to be distracted by it. So it's going to allow me to finish two quests in one go. And now all we have to do is just head to our friend's base. Okay, the base is literally just up here. Now we got to get this wither summoned pretty quick. I don't want him to even realize what I'm doing. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, he sees it. There's a wither. He's here. He's here. He's here. Funk wither. Have fun. Now here's where we got to start sawing them in half. In fact, let's saw one in half really quick. Here we go. We sawed one. Boy, it is gone. Now let's put this up here. That should pull another one in. Saw two. Dude, he's sawing me in half. How is he doing this? Now we need to saw one more. Okay, they're busy dealing with the wither. It gives me a chance. Wait for this cooldown to go off. And then we can cut another hunter in half. Okay, here we go. Last one. There we go. We saw three of three. And now I'm just going to leave them to fight the wither. Good luck with that, guys. Okay, so now that I left them to go fight that wither, we legit are almost at full strength. We just need to kill five mushrooms, get a trident, get a turtle shell, and get a netherite sword. And since I have a netherite sword right there, I'm technically done with that one already. But what I'm not close to getting is a turtle shell. Because to get one of those, you need to get five scoot. And scoot is hard to get. So we need to build a turtle farm right now. So let's grab one of our diamonds and let's make a diamond shovel. And now let's just go quickly find a beach where some turtles are spawning. Now we just need to actually build this farm. Okay, so what you really want to do is lay a bunch of sand like this and kind of like a grid pattern and then we can just surround this whole thing kind of in a netherrack pattern like this it doesn't really matter what your surrounding block is and now we're just going to dig down one block deeper in each spot now let's take some fences and put them all the way around this netherrack area and now we're just going to take some carpets and put it on each corner so that way we can get over our fences okay so next all we want to do is go grab some water and we're going to put this in each corner of our new farm once the turtles spit out their scoot it's just going to end up in this hopper and we don't really need to make a chest collector or anything like that this will be good enough now we should actually get some turtles in this farm and breed them with some seagrass okay so let's just grab some of the seagrass right here there we go is that seagrass? That's kelp. We need seagrass. This stuff. Okay, now we need to lead these guys into the farm. Okay, now let's breed these two turtles together and they should start making some scoot. I just found a legit scoot on the beach. Wait, what? Was that you two? Did you guys just make me some scoot? Okay, well, we'll just let them do their thing now and let the farm automate. And uh, while we wait for the turtles to have their fun, we have to start looking for some mushrooms to kill. Because once we finish that, we're going to be able to unlock our magician's wand that has a bunch of different moves in one, as you can see. So let's just start flying around the world till we find a mushroom island because uh, those are really, really rare. No shot. Oh, I thought this was going to take me at least three days. I just don't see any mushroom cows. Oh, no, there they are. There they are. There they are. One mushroom cow dead. Two, three, four, five. We're officially done with that quest. And now we can unlock the magician's wand. Okay, you know what? It's nighttime. I'm going to test this wand later. I don't have time to test it right now. Let's just try this thing out in the village real quick and see what it does. So if I use the blue on this iron golem as an example, what happens? Oh, he uh, freezes. Oh, wait. Anyone on that ice takes damage. Well, anyway, now that we've unlocked our wand, um, let's try some of the other colors. I did not mean to freeze you. I'm so sorry. Let's try some of the other colors. Okay, like purple, as an example, said it should start making it rain. Oh, it's raining crystals. Look at that. That's so cool. I'm guessing those do damage if they hit you. Okay, what does green do? I gotta try green out. Oh, it summoned a witch bomb. Oh, look at all the witches that just spawned. And the only one I can't test is yellow. And that apparently lets me move players, whatever that means. But anyway, this magic wand is super strong. But we're still not even full strength. Because we still have to become the god of magic by getting our turtle shell. And we still have to get the blasting balloon animals by getting a trident. Which, uh, honestly speaking of, we should probably just go get that trident done with. So, uh, let's just start killing a bunch of drowned till one drop. And trust me, this will take a bit. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we got a trident. We're done. And now that we have this trident in front of us, we can unlock the blasting balloon animals. So here we go. Blasting balloon animals. Unlock. And then to become the god of magic, we just have to grab our dragon breath right here and fly our way back to our turtle farm to make sure we have enough scoot. Okay, I don't see any more eggs here. So I think we're good. Let's just check. We got a turtle egg right here, actually. And we got six scoot. That's all we need. Let's just grab a log right here. Turn all these logs into planks, make ourselves a crafting table, take all five scoot, make a helmet. We got the turtle helmet now. And now we can also become the god of magic. Oh my goodness, just like that, we're at full strength. Okay, so obviously as a god of magic, I now have 50 hearts, I can fly, and I have strength five and speed five. But more importantly is our other new ability. Now if I take this balloon and I start blowing it up, you're gonna see it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, and this thing gets absolutely huge. And once it's blown up, it'll automatically go attack the nearest hunter nearby. But uh, since there's no hunters, it won't spawn right now. 
now. Well, that's okay, because we actually currently are on low health, so let's just get back to full health and just focus on staying alive for now anyway. We have plenty of time left left in this challenge, and we are already fully upgraded. So our goal is simple at this point. Stay alive and either make the hunters quit or get to day 100. And so I spent the next few days just waiting and setting up my base for an attack that I knew would come from my friends, who, of course, showed up on day 86. Okay, let's make this other netherite sword real quick. Come on, give me something good. Unbreaking three. Oh, sharpness four and breaking three. Okay, we can just store the other one up in here then. Footsteps, footsteps, footsteps on me. Oh, they're literally right outside, right outside, right outside. Let's get them with the balloon animal. I haven't been able to test this yet. Let's make it huge. Ready? Get her. Oh my God. Oh, that didn't feel good, did it? Let's pull up a huge one. As big as we can get. There it goes. Oh, it sent them flying. Oh, it's a giant balloon. Oh my goodness. I need to do that again. Oh no, I tried to water bucket. Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. He's in the air. Oh, he hit the bucket. What? That's it. We're getting him with a bigger one. Here we go. Hit that MLG bucket. You won't. Wow, he did. You know what? Rapid fire the balloons! Get him, boys! Get him! Now watch. She's gonna go flying, boink, and dead. No, he got me. Wait, what? All my abilities just turned off. Wait, what happened? They must have some that could turn my abilities off. Now I'll start trying out our magic wand. So we haven't actually tried out the color yellow yet. So let's try yellow. Oh, look at that. We can actually just grab him. Hey, buddy. You want to go for a journey? Ow, rude. I'm dropping you. He MLG bucketed that too! No way! Let's switch colors. Let's go with blue. Now they're taking damage on ice. Yeah, that's right. The other one can't move. He must be resetting his control. This is actually good for us. Let's get him with a ring. Boom! Enjoy the smiting, friends! They're trying to go hide now. They got lucky. They dodged that. Let's go freeze another one. Oh, we missed. That big one just sent him flying. Get ready. Now let's make him land. Boom! Got him! Okay, cool. Okay, we gotta figure out where they're spawning. Nice. We got one dead, one dead, one dead. Oh! The totem popped! I think the witch just popped my totem. I got an idea. Okay, I blew her up. Where is she gonna spawn? Right there, that building right there. I think she just came out of this bed, so if we break that bed, she no longer spawns. Okay, let's go in. Let's get another one with the rings. Nice, Kate. Okay, one of them just got struck by lightning. Okay, there's no bed in there. I don't think they're spawning in there. I don't think Goldie respawned here anymore, so I think I got rid of her bed. We gotta figure out where they're spawning from. In fact, I should probably just destroy every bed in here. One right here. He's spawning over here. I found him. We got him. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's in this building. I found him. Broke the bed. Kill him. Oh no, he's alive still in there. No way. Hey, I have an idea. Switch this to blue. Now he's gonna die in there. He's gonna freeze to death. Yes! They almost got me there, so I don't think they're gonna quit. I think they're gonna keep fighting me. Let's get back to full health in case they come back. Oh, I'm done. Wait, are they quitting? Hold up, I gotta check. Are you guys quitting? Dude, we can't yep. win! It's yep, literally impossible. You almost killed me twice! What do you mean? You broke our armor. We just died out. Well, if you wanna quit, I just wanna hear the magic words. Who wins? Magician wins. Magician wins. That's right. Magician wins. Thanks for watching!